The citizens of Kepler are scurrying around the streets. There are gifts to be purchased and boxes to be wrapped. Main Street is lined with cars, all still running while their owners run into the local store for a last-minute shopping spree. Smack dab in the middle of Main Street is an old brick building. A faded sign over the entrance reads Gordo's Hardware. On a door, a sign flashes, we cut keys and sharpen saw blades. Inside is a thin, tall man in his mid-30s. Wispy blonde hair, this is Gordo himself. Well, technically this is Gordo the Third. His back is against the plumbing wall. It seems Father Al has cornered him. And I do appreciate you letting us keep your lovely wife, Patty, late at rehearsal this week, Gordo. Her soprano voice really amps up the arrangement of joy to the world. And don't forget to remind her to wear movement clothes to rehearsal tonight. We are going to rehearse the choreography to You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. And Mary Kate wouldn't be excusing anyone until it is up to our high standards. Yeah, she mentioned that it's been intense. Here's the part where uh, you were looking for, so... If that's it, I can ring you up. Now that you mentioned it, I was curious if you'd be willing to donate some of these nice new LED Christmas lights to the church. We could really light up the outside peaks if we use these 1,000 bulb C9 strings. What do you think? Uh, well, Father, the thing is We that would I... return them right after the concert. You would have them back up for sale the next day. That's the problem. The concert is Christmas Eve. No one wants to buy Christmas lights after Christmas Eve, you see? Well, you think about it. Mull it over. And and speaking of mulling it over, I was just talking to the church maintenance committee. And we were discussing who could take over the coffee machine for after the services. I know Patty has been anxious to be the coffee captain. Hey, now. Are you trying to bribe me? No, no nothing of the sort, Gordo. But, uh... You scratch my back and I can scratch yours. What? My back doesn't itch. It, it, it's just an expression. There you are, you... you... you bowl full of jelly. Now, Pastor, there is no need to resort to name-calling. You're lucky that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> you saw the stickers then? To quote almost everyone in Kepler, you betcha. Uh, what stickers? This wolf in shepherd's clothing printed stickers that he has been placing on posters all over town that his concert will be serving refreshments starting at 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve just so he can undercut people who were going to come to my concert. Refreshments? Really? That sounds great. <laughs> Thanks, Father. Snacks are for new faces, Gordo. And don't forget, we're still negotiating about coffee captain position. As for you... I'm going to drop some history on you and hope it lands. Pastor Keith and I had an arrangement, a holiday ceasefire years ago. We would both start our concerts at the same time and let the people decide. Then a little church mouse spilled the Christmas beans that you were moving your show up a full hour. You fired the first shot. I can't help it if I'm just better at marketing than you. You have tinseled with the wrong woman. My concert will be the best in town. You'll see. Well... I never. Now, Gordo, about those Christmas lights. 